I'm standing in one of our cornfields and this is right at 30 days post application a brand new chemistry that we've never worked with it's new in the industry from UPL uh, it's in Trava DX combined with moccasin which is like a dual style product what makes uh, Intrava DX unique is a whole entire new chemistry in the arena in the war on weeds. What it is, it's amino carbazone with some metribuzin in it. And it's one pint per acre is what we're running in no-till and then one pint with moccasin and no atrazine, which is kind of a cool aspect. No, I'm not saying we're anti-atrazine, but we are very low use rates on atrazine and try not to use it. Here I am in the middle of an Intrava DX 120 foot strip in this half section. And it was no-tilled into soybean stubble. It's been right at 30 days. We have had some real cool weather, slow emergence. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of chemical complaints around the area. Guys having issues with prees. This is whistle clean. We got one rain to activate it right after planting. Here's one weed. This is it. This is a, as honest as you get. I walked along, I found one weed. That's it. Otherwise, I'm walking around. It's corn. And it was heavy residue. Last year, this field of beans, it was in the 60s, which is a very good yield for our area. It was heavy residue. You can see continuous no-till. So I'm kind of excited about the Intrava DX, what it's doing in heavy residue and no-till. And so is UPL because it's something new and they want to see how it would work in a no-till environment. And I'm impressed. It is clean. That one weed, that's an outlier. I'm not worried about him. Like I said, 30 days post application. I'm liking what I'm seeing. This definitely could be an option for next year. 